it's really useful to have a strong, sturdy chair next to you to hang on to. If you feel at all off balance, you know you've got something there to steady yourself. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Sarah. I'm going to start the lesson standing up. If you want to sit down at any time, absolutely fine. So let's start. Lovely upright posture. You can hold the chair if you want to, and you can start by marching your feet. Off you go. Now remember, you can sit down if you want to. It's absolutely not a problem. I'm going to stay standing up, okay, for now. Get those feet moving. You can hold the chair. You can let it go, all right? It's entirely up to you. You see how your balance feels this morning. Just see how you are feeling, all right? Now, it's important to start just getting gently, gently warmer, all right? So it's small moves to start with. Just see how you're feeling. Just small, small moves to start to take nice, deep breaths. All right, this is good. Let's change that a little bit. You can hold the chair if you want to when you start to move your feet. Just tap them in front like that. How about that? Just a little tap in front. That's it, just a bit of variety there. And again, if you want to, you can do some uh, arms, a little bicep curl. You can do both arms if you don't want to hold on to the chair. Yeah, that's great. So just getting your feet moving, getting your arms moving. Okay, this is good, this is good, well done. Let's have another march, ready, steady, off you go. So gradually making the arms a little bit bigger, lifting the chest, bring those shoulders back and down. That's it, really sort of exaggerate that lovely upright chest, good. Just gently squeeze your tummy in. Yeah, great, all right, this is wonderful. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of mobility now. So you can start to hold your feet still, Hold the chair if you want to, and just take your feet a little bit wider. All right, now I'm gonna let go. Put your arms down by your side, squeeze your shoulders up and release them down. Now here we go again, ready? Lift up and lower down. Let's do two more. Squeeze up, lower down. One more time, squeeze up, lower down and rest. Now give them a roll, forwards up, back and down. Ready, forwards up, back, and down, that should feel quite nice through the shoulders. That's it, lovely movement there. And try and squeeze them back there. Beautiful, one more time. Excellent stuff, all right, great. You can stop, bring your feet back in again, and let's have you another march, off you go. All right, good, looking good. That's it, just keep those feet going. Keep those feet going, keep swinging your arms, all right. Great, so let's do a little bit more for your uh, shoulders and then for your spine. So hold your feet still again, take your feet so they are wide. All right, now then, bend your knees a bit. You put one hand on one shoulder and then off you go, rolling the shoulder backwards, getting a nice big movement through the elbow there. All right, lovely. Should we do it on the other side? Ready, steady, off you go. There you go. Again, feel free to hold the chair if you need to with that other hand. That's good, it's a nice big roll. Great, and you're just starting to get your waist engaged a little bit there. All right, so stop now. Take your arms down by your side, shoulders back and down. Now lean one way. Don't mind which way you go. There you go. And then to the other side, like that. Yes, good. So now look, lean in a straight line. So try not to lean forwards or backwards. Really important to keep your spine as straight as you can there. And it's just the sideways movement that you want to try and get there. Yes, good. Really important for your spine there. Okay, now you can stop. Bend your knees again. You take both arms in front or you can take one on a chair if you want to. Now, I want you to turn and look over one shoulder like that. And then come back to the middle and then go the other way. So you're looking over that shoulder. Now, see if you can, do it again, see if you can keep your hips facing forwards, but see if you can try and just turn your rib cage. So I want you to get the rib cage to turn and do one more, you see, like that. Good, and then you can stop. Now you can put your hands on your hips and give your hips a circle around. All right, so now everything's moving now. That's good, and again, look, hold the chair if you want to, it doesn't matter. So feel free to steady yourself on the chair. 
All right, good. And then off you go around the other way. So you're just trying to loosen off the hips, get the spine moving. You can go as fast or as slow as you like. All right, terrific. Well done. Let's have another march then. So you can hold the chair if you want to. Ready, steady, off you go. So starting to feel a bit looser. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, starting to feel a bit looser through the spine. Just getting everything that little bit warmer. Should feel like you can put a bit more oomph in that marching. All right. Good. All right, lovely stuff. Try another bit for your spine, all right? So hold your feet still, take your feet a bit wider again. Now this time, all right, so bend your knees a bit. This time, try an arm in front and an arm behind. Mind the chair. <laughs> all right, so mind the chair just as you swing your arms. So look, if you feel that your spine is still feeling a bit stiff and uncomfortable, you can slow it down, all right? You can make it like this. But if you feel happy in your spine and you're all right to do that slight more momentum, all right, you go for it. So do what feels okay for you. You may find that you are happy to just pivot on that one foot. Yeah, that's good. And again, it's just trying to get that spine loosening off. Okay. Looking great, I'm sure. So you can stop there. You can bring your feet back in. Now, try this. Try heels up towards your bottom. Mind anything that's behind you. So just get your heels. Can you feel how that, just getting your knees moving in that other direction? That's it, yeah. Just working through the backs of the thighs. Let's have another march. Ready, steady, off you go. All right, so just getting everything moving, right? We're gonna do your ankles and your wrists next, okay? So. Slow it down again. Let's pop one heel in front. I want you to do heel, toe, ready? I want you to go heel, toe, heel, toe. Getting your ankle moving. Heel and toe, heel and toe. Beautiful. All right, so you can stop. You can move to the other side of the chair if you want. I'm gonna stay here. All right, so I'm gonna do heel and toe again. Heel and toe and heel and toe. Trying to get your ankle moving. Get your heel and your toe in the same place if you can. All right, terrific and then you can stop. Let's just stay still for one sec and just get your wrists moving around, okay? Let's just get those moving. It's just the final bit here, look. And then what about your fingers? You get those moving, get those warmed up a bit. If you wanna try doing getting them wide, look, and each finger to thumb, try that. See if you can really squeeze them in so you get that curve through the fingers. How about that? Okay, great. Back into your march, off you go. Right then. Good, so hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit warmer, a little bit kind of looser through all the joints, everything's moved. We are gonna do, staying here for a little bit longer, a little bit of balance, a little bit of moving balance, and then we're gonna do some stationary balance. You can hold the chair if you like, because I want you to turn your head and look one way. All right, so you're gonna turn your head, Look one way, if you can let go, if you're happy with that, you go for it. And then come back to the middle. Now turn your head and look the other way. How about that? That's it, good. And then you can come back. Here we go, we're back, good. What about turning your whole body now one way? So you can hold the chair if you want to, but otherwise, just get those feet moving so you've turned all the way around, all right? Now, keep your feet going, turn back to the front, now have a go at turning all the way around the other way. Off you go. Good, great. And then you can come back round and you can face the front again. Okay, looking good. So a bit more variety now. So stop, tap out to the side. Let's go out to the side and out to the side. Take nice deep breaths. That's it, good. And if you wanna use some arms, bicep curl here. Good, lovely. What about tapping your heels in front? Same arms, ready, heels in front. Heels in front, heels in front. Yes, great, lovely. Let's do the same arms. Tap your toes behind you, off you go. Tap your toes behind, behind. Good, yes, excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, ready to march again? Off you go. Now, here is your last bit of kind of marching and then we're gonna do something else. I want you to do big march, small march, big march, small march, okay? So, take nice deep breaths. Ready, steady, here we go. I need you to go big, big, not many, big, big, and then go smaller, go smaller. Now we're gonna do that twice more, okay? 
Ready, steady. And here we go. Like you're more walking up a hill. Here, here, here. Good. Take nice deep breaths. Take nice deep breaths. Good. And then you can slow it down. All right, well done. So you should be breathing that little bit more heavily than usual. All okay? Can you manage one more? Are you ready, steady? And here we go. It is bigger. It's bigger. Good. Bigger. Brilliant. Climb up the hill. Fantastic. And now here we go. You've reached it. You can slow it down and you can go down the other side. There you go. Slow it down. Don't stop though. So just keep those feet going. Keep the feet going and just let the breathing kind of sort itself back out again. All right. That is wonderful. Really, really well done. Terrific. Now, we're going to do a little bit more uh, strength and balance stuff now, okay? Really important for your bones and your joints and your muscles, okay? Not stopping. You notice that? Haven't stopped yet. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Haven't stopped. <laughs> all right. Lovely stuff. So look, we're going to start with lunges, all right? Because it's really good, good for the strength of your thighs strength of your bottom. You can hold the chair if you want to. In fact, probably for the start for the first one, do hold the chair. Now I want you to step forwards, look, and then come back. Okay, ready? Again, step forwards, step back. Step forwards, step back. This is number four, ready? Step forwards, step back. Now, you're gonna do four more. We're gonna go four and three and two and one more. Look, there. And then stop. Now just move your hips from side to side just so that you've, you know, loosened them off again. We've got to do the same on the other side. Now I'm gonna stay where I am, but you might wanna just move to the other side of the chair or, you know, hold on to something on this side, okay? It's easier if you can hold on to it with the, one that, with the arm that's stable there. Ready? We're going. Step forwards. Now I'm just lifting up the heel at the back. Step back. And again, step forwards. Step back. Try and come back to hip width each time. Step forwards. Step back. And again, step forwards. Step back. Now you're doing brilliantly. You've got four more, ready? Four, and just do what you can. Three, and two. Now chest lifted if you can, and one more. Brilliant, and stop. So again, just move your heels side to side, just move those hips. All right, very good, well done. Now, similar, I want you to step backwards, all right? So I want you to take this outside leg again, and I want you to take it back. Look, the heel is still up, look, like that. And you're going down, up, step in. Here we go again. Step, down, lift, come in. Again, step, down, lift, come in. Here we go. Step, down, lift, come in. Right. Four more, we go. Step, down, lift, come in and again, go step, down. All right, two more only, ready? Step, down, lift, come in. Now one more time, there, there, there. Come in, right, you've got to do exactly the same on the other side now. You ready, steady? Step back, bend, lift, come in. We've got step, bend, lift, come in, and again, there. Bend, good. Come on in and again, go step, bend. Oh, this is brilliant. Keep going. Step, bend there and come in and again there right good here comes your final two ready we go step bend 
there and come in. Here comes your last one, ready, here we go. Nice step back, bend the knees, lift, come on in, fantastic. And then just move your heels again. That's it, side to side, side to side, side to side, great. Feet hip width apart now, it's gonna lift up onto your toes, ready? Come on, up, ease it down. Come on, up, ease it down. Well done, come on, up. Ease it down, that's it, right up onto the ball of the foot there, there, good. And down now, we should do five more. Come up on two, ready here. Now, can you lift your foot off? Ease yourself down. All right, other leg, ready? So go up, lift your foot up, ease it down. Let's try that again one more time each side, ready? Let's go, lift, there, and down. And again, let's go lift, there, good, and down. Right, now one more, both feet together, ready? So come on up, like that. Now, stay there, nice deep breaths. Yes, if you're hovering over the chair, wonderful. And then you are lowering down, really slowly, really slowly, really slowly, perfect. And then just ease through those heels like that. Do you know, because we've gone that way, we need to do the other way. We need to do lifting your toes up. So hold the chair to start with, all right? So lift your toes up and then pop your toes back down. Now keep going. And what you need to think about is keeping your bottom tucked underneath you. You know, so try not to do that. We're going there and down. You can have a lighter touch look. You might even have no touch. <laughs> Did I manage it? And again, so you're going there. And there. you do get a better range of movement if you can hold the chair there. Ever so good for the strength of your shins. All right, good. And look how you're balancing on that really small, um, really small base. Let's do two more. There. And down. And there. And down and rest. And then again, just move your heels from side to side. All right, you are doing brilliantly. Now, those lunges, we're gonna go back to those. I want you to imagine that you're looking at a clock face, all right? So I want you to step forward, lunge forwards for me at 12 o'clock. So go, so go to 12 o'clock, come back to hip width. Now, can you go out to my three or nine o'clock, out to the side? All right, so you've got your three or your nine. And now you've got a six, we're all six, aren't we? So now we're six, all right? And now what about like a seven o'clock or is it a four o'clock? That one, bit of a curtsy, ready? Now, I want you to do that again. So forwards, go. Now, out to the side, ready, out to the side, go. Now see if you can get a nice big lean. Good, now go behind you. Now try that curtsy again, ready, there. Now let's just do that one more time. Let's go, 12, good. Let's go out to three or nine, go. Let's go out to six. Great. Curtsy. Beautiful. You need to do the other side. Okay, ready, steady. Other leg, again, you can move the chair or you can move to the other side. We're going. Step forwards, ready, 12 o'clock. Excellent. Step out to your three or nine, there. You see me behind the chair. Behind you, ready, go, there. Excellent. Curtsy. There, it's there. Bend the knees, up you come. Ever so good for the side of your bum there. Ready, let's go again. 12 o'clock, go. Good. Three o'clock, go. Excellent. Six o'clock. Terrific. Curtsy, that's your seven o'clock, wasn't it? Off for seven. One more time, ready? Go, forwards. Excellent. Out to the side. Now I'm not using my arms, but if you want to, you can do arms, all right? And how about, yeah. All right, terrific. And then you can move your heels again from side to side. Okay, you are looking extremely good. Let's do two more strength and balancing ones and then we'll have a stretch, okay? So, can you put your weight on one leg and just take your foot off the floor? Now, you can have a lighter touch on the chair you can have no touch on the chair, don't mind. 
All right, good. You're gonna stay there for a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Put your foot down. Let's try on the other side. So we need you to get your weight over first. Now that might be enough, all right? Just thinking about it might be enough. If you can get your heel up, you go for it. If you need to put your hand on the chair, that is absolutely fine. You'll probably see how my ankle's really wobbling side to side. That's ever so good, it's really good for my ankle strength. Terrific stuff, well done. You can put your foot down and then you can just ease through your feet. Right, you're doing brilliantly. We're gonna do one more and then we're gonna stretch, all right? So we're gonna, stre we're gonna try and strengthen your thighs and your sides of your hips as well. So I want you to go down, right? So bend your knees down there. Now we're gonna lift up. Now I haven't finished yet. I'm gonna stand tall. I'm gonna take a leg out to the side. Then I'm gonna come back here. Okay, ready? Down, so you're gonna go down, two, three, four, and lift, two, three, four. Right, look here, let's let that leg out. Oh, brilliant. And here we go again, ready? So we're going down, and lift, ready, steady, and out. Good. Here we go again, go down, and lift, and out. Right, let's do two more, so that's two more each side, ready? We're going down, so really work those thighs. Now you've got a lovely power up here, power, 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 power there, lift. Excellent, here we go, down you go there, good. And lift, and there, good. All right, so one more time, ready? Each side, down you go. That's it, get those knees just over the ankles and out to the side. And one more time, get your bum right back. Good, try and get your knees over the ankles if you can. Hopefully you can see that okay. Demonstrated effectively enough, out you go there and there and just move through your hips. Oh, that's brilliant. Now. We've done with your strength and balance, but what we really need to finish off uh, with is a stretch. So, hold the chair. Take one foot back behind you, look. Press your heel down, lean forwards. All right, so try and get your stretch, look, in the, uh, in the back of your calf. This one is so good for your stride length, all right? And you'll feel a pull in the back of your calf. Absolutely fine, that is perfect. All right, and then you come on in and then you change sides, all right? So you go toe down, heel, lean that front knee forwards, pull the tummy in so you've got a nice straight back. All right, well done, stay there. Really press the heel down into the floor. You want to stay there for a good sort of eight to 10 seconds, really. Longer if you can, it's absolutely fine. All right, well done. And then you can come on in. Now, let's get your feet so they're hip width apart. Oh, sorry, shoulder width apart, my hips aren't that big. So there we go. You're gonna put hand on shoulder, then push your elbow up, let the hand creep in between your shoulder blades. Look, you can push from there, you can push from there if you want to. All right, so just do what feels all right for your tricep, back of your shoulder. Relax. All right, and then the other side, ready? So you go hand on shoulder, push it up. See if when you do this, you can keep your chin level with the floor. So just keep your shoulder girdle nice and straight and then just give it a pull like that. All right, well done, well done and relax there, give your shoulders a roll. Now, should we just sit down and do the final few stretches? Look, you can stay standing if you want to, but I think it's quite nice now just to have a bit of a sit. Come forward so you're on the front third of the chair. We're gonna give your hamstrings a stretch. So I want you to take one leg out straight in front of you, okay? Put your hands on the leg that's bent, lift up tall, and then fold forwards, and fold forwards from your hips, pull your shoulders back and down, and try and feel the stretch look in the back of the straight leg. 
right up there in your hamstring. This is the one that's good for getting down towards your feet. Stay there again for a good eight to 10 seconds, maybe even longer if you can. And then up you come. Then I've got you to change sides, ready? So you go lengthen the leg, lift up tall, and then you fold forwards. So stay there, try and relax your foot, because otherwise if the foot's lifted, it tends to pull quite a lot behind your knee, which can be a bit uncomfortable. And anyway, what you wanna feel, ideally, is it up there in the back of your hamstring. Lift up tall, bring your foot in, here. Now reach around and grab hold of the back of the chair. All right, now I need you to actively squeeze your shoulder blades together like that. There, that's it, you've got to push your chest down. So what you've got to do, pull those shoulders back and down. Try and pull the tummy in, all right, so you're not kind of arching your spine, just really drawing those shoulders back and down. That's it, and think about the muscle that goes right across the front of the chest, right into those shoulders, and really stretch it. And you're brilliant. Come back to the front. Oh, you can sit yourself back in the back of the chair if you like, or you can just, you know, stay as you are. Relax, you've done it. We need a cup of tea and a bicky. Thanks very much. <laughs>